Hi guys, I am doing a different video again. <laughs> I'm just trying to record a bunch of videos before I go back to college so I have some things to upload before I get back into the routine of going back to college. So yes, I thought I might as well do an updated Red Velvet organization kind of video because I did get my Red Velvet albums in. I want to put my pills away and kind of, kind of just put everything together with my placeholders and stuff because that needs to be done. I don't like doing it before the comeback if I know I'm going to get the album. Um, it saves me from making these extra placeholders that I don't need because they'll be replaced straight away. So I'd prefer to get the cards in first and then make the placeholders to put in so I know what to make and what to like not make since I already have the card. I prefer having these saved up because these are like a nightmare to make. But yes, we're going to go through me putting the cards in and making placeholders and kind of just organising this. So the only downside for me with this is that I do not have um, the two pocket sleeves. I've ran out of them and you can tell that by the, the let me just get to it. You can barely see my binder, I'm sorry about that. But here I've run out, I only have four and I do want to make another, well not make, I do want to put more in here with um, one page for each member since they do have this little receipt thing and the postcard so I'm wanting to put the receipt up here kind of like what I did for the standee and then the postcard depending on what way it is I think most of them are vertical but I think what I'm gonna do for just now is I think I might have one I can't remember what I did with Okay, so I have five nine pocket sleeves here. I did actually manage to find the two pocket sleeve. I thought I had one left because I remember looking through my extra binders that I just have random shit in it that I don't really look through as often. Um, but yes, I found it and we only need five um, nine pocket sleeves. Okay, that's everything I need. And I'm just gonna put these in first. Uh, I don't know if I should put six of the nine pocket sleeves in just in case they do release a kino. But I think just now it's okay to put in the, what do you call these, nine pocket sleeves. <laughs> I'm just going to move the pens up. So I'm going to be just putting the um, pocket sleeves in first and then I'm going to make the placeholders and then put the cards in along with the placeholders. Um, just so I'm not in and out the binder too much. So here we have five. This is, this is too much for just one comeback. Okay, so with where I'm going to put the other inclusions that are not full cards, I'm just going to put them behind what I have already. And um, so, say for the Irene receipt, I'm just going to put it behind her standee just now. Um, even though I don't really like doing that, I see loads of people like double sleeve their items, their photo cards. I like I prefer seeing the back of my photo cards and stuff. So this is going to be a temporary thing just now. Okay, so we're going to go back to my vendor as soon as I finish doing all this stuff, which is what I'm going to be doing next. So we're going to say goodbye to my Red Velvet binder. I'm going to sort these out into versions and then member versions. So these two joy ones are from the finale, so I have our finale set complete. And the rest of these are from their, what you call it, scrapbook versions. So. I'm going to start with Irene. So since I only have one of her cards, I'm going to write four of these out. And what I'm going to do first is just write their names and then put the versions after it. Okay. I, like, I always forget the, the way I do my R's. Okay, so I'm just going to reference one of her ones I've already made. Because I always forget how I do my R's and I don't like how they're different each time I do it. So let's do this. Hopefully this will fit in. Hmm. Okay, because I think I tend to make my R's look like S's, but I don't think it really matters as long as I know what the member is. <laughs>
I messed that one up so bad. <laughs> okay, so that's Irene done. I'm gonna go with this silky eye, which is another conflict because there's an S in her name and I don't know how I do the S's. Sorry if the tripod shakes or anything. I I feel like when I record these kind of videos, well, I think when I'm writing, it's kind of hard for me to record and have my elbows out. So I always like accidentally hit the tripod, which isn't the most stable thing in the world. <laughs> so yeah, I apologize if I do that quite often. Yeah, these are kind of clapped. Calligraphy, cursive. Hmm. <laughs> this one looks quite. I quite like. Wait, I can't zoom into that, can I? Quite like this one. That one there. I'm gonna try and do that. Yeah, my arm's kind of hugging the tripod. Just yeah, it's quite hard not to kind of budge the tripod, but we'll see. Yeah, that's collapsed. I did not center this right. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just I don't think it relates too much with the other letters. This is so hard to do. We're gonna redo that. I think the the sizes of the letters were quite quite inconsistent since the S goes down more than the others. But I think with doing the S a bit different. I don't think that's that bad. I'm gonna keep this one and then try it again. I guess I have... I only have three other attempts for this since I only have three Sogi cards. That's why I have these out there just in case I accidentally make more than I should. <laughs> so let's try the S again. Okay, not too bad. I love how vibrant this yellow is. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. My stomach just went. Okay, that eye. Mm. Connect these two. Try and make this look more like an E. <laughs> Not too bad. Okay, that's it for Sogi, I think. Yeah. Now we go on to Wendy. W's might be a bit hard. Oh no. Kind of clapped. feel about that. It's not too bad but I think I might do the W differently. I honestly don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try it on this Sogi one I've already wasted. If I can pick it up. There we go. So I'm gonna try and do a different W with the Sogi one I've already wasted <laughs> and just see how this goes. Okay that's not Hmm. I think I like the I like the look of this W a bit better. So we're gonna put this aside. I do reuse my placeholders um when I have the chance to. I keep them aside and I just use the back of them because it's perfectly fine at the back, nothing shows through and it's good paper so I don't wanna waste it once I throw away once I have a card on. Let's see if I can do this W again. Okay, that looks better. The E looks clapped, why does it look like that? <laughs> I 
I'd say I don't have like a consistent style for when I do these kind of things but I would love to do it more but I only do it when I need to you know but it's quite fun when you get into the groove of it I guess I need to watch where I'm going with the W that's not a W that's a Y <laughs> anyway okay we need four more of these to do so much I feel like every single member apart from Wendy There's literally no space in the D. There's no white space there. <laughs> okay, is that two? We've done two for Wendy. Okay. Hopefully this gets better with me writing this. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. Oh no, I smudged it. No! Why do I like jinx myself? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it, it's not too bad. But it's on my hand now. Why is it the only time I record? I get notifications on my phone. <laughs> This blue is so pigmented, wow. Okay, one more for Wendy. And then I just need to make two for, no, three for Joy. And then four for Yeti. That's too many cards for one comeback, what the fuck. That one looks kind of crap, the sizes of like the difference between these. Oh no! The, oh, I just need to wait for it to dry. Um, why am I so dumb? Tipex is like my best friend. But yeah, the sizes in these. Oh my god. Doesn't really matter. Maybe going to Joy, which is quite an easy name to spell. <laughs> or like write out at least. so fun doing red velvet placeholders because of their colours. It's just so vibrant and pretty. Oops. Blood just flew off. So yeah, I've been thinking doing different videos like this. I've mentioned it in other videos but I do want to do this for maybe like other collections like other binders I guess because I still haven't made placeholders for twice I think I'm just putting it off just because of how much there is <laughs> but if you would like me to do that let me know because it's fun making different videos and if I am able to record and then I just have like one night of editing most of the videos I record and then I actually have things to put out instead of rushing editing and like rendering and then posting on the same day actually like have a schedule kind of I think that would be fun so I think if I am able to record more of these if you guys like watching them and it's kind of just like a chill kind of video because those are fun okay that was three wasn't it we can you see that? What is this big scratch? Oh, this is a stack. Oh my god. So I need four more for Yeti. I think what I'm gonna do is wait till I get all of the well, most of the cards and then put them into versions. But I think I'm just gonna put them in whatever order just now. I don't really mind. I'm just realizing I have Joy and Yeti set complete for the album extras. That's so good. I didn't pull any, like, I didn't pull one of Sogi's 
um, extra inclusions but I do have a treat on the way for Wendy's one and I traded one of my extra joys so I'm only looking for Sogi's receipt so if anybody needs a joy or an Irene um, receipt thing let me know and we can trade um, but I will probably put it on my trade account soon I've just not got the chance to do that yet But yes, I do want to start making more templates. I have them on my Instagram. Um, I have the templates on my Instagram sales account, but I use them on my normal account. Um, I only have like a few groups done, but not all of their stuff. I have some of twice. Um, for I think it was summer nights. Uh, I feel special. No, fancy you. And I have what is love done. I've just not posted them yet. I just need to get back into the groove of that, I think. Going back to college, I'll be more, I'll have more of a routine and I'll have like time out of the week to do those kind of things. So I have Red Velvet complete for members. I think I might actually do Red Velvet sets from like comebacks for people that collect OT5 or like certain sets from like say the Perfect Velvet or like Red Flavor, but like only collect member cards outside of that. So they have the option to- oh yeah sorry about that, I got distracted. <laughs> but yes, I think I was on like templates, so yeah I do have- the only groups I have are Twice, some of Twice, Red Velvet, Members, Etsy Members, and then um, <laughs> Etsy Members and all of the icy cards into one like story slide, I don't know what you call them, and then I have all of Dreamcatcher Members. Um, Yes, I accidentally pinned my finger. I literally get messy every time I do these. Okay, so we have two Yeti, we need two more to go. It kind of looks like Yessie because I think my R's look like Yessies. <laughs> but we all know it says Yeti. Yay, okay, we're done this part, which I think is most time consuming, so we don't need this pile here. I will definitely have to make more of them later on because those are- that whole pile is like just been taken up with all these red velvet cards. Okay, and now we go in reverse, but um, so yeah, I forgot to mention I still do have my two extra Sogi cards from the scrapbook version. If anybody wants to trade them for any other Irene card I don't have, I think that's just- I. We don't want to trade those Silgi cards for Irene just because I think Silgi's an easy member to trade for Irene maybe. Yeah, so if I'm not able to, I would trade it to other members, but just now I'm not wanting to trade to other members. I'm just scared because these cards I feel like it's going to take a while to complete just because the prices, I don't get why these are being like really, really overpriced and yeah, it might just be cheaper in the long run to just buy more albums until you find the amount of trades you need. But, I don't know. What am I going to write here? I'm just going to write Revy Festival uh, Finale Scrapbook version I'm just going to write SB because I cannot be bothered writing scrapbook <laughs> Revy Festival Finale SB version and then I just have to do the to finale. So I'm gonna write Revy Festival and then just put finale version E. And um, instead of writing finale twice, I think it'd be a bit easier. I've talked about this a few times on my Instagram lives, which I do usually do these kind of things on and yeah I always mention how I feel like my handwriting is just so disgusting and like the way I hold my pen I'm always like changing the way I'm holding it for some reason and I never find like a comfortable way, comfortable way to hold my pen and it's strange but, like in primary school like in the later years of primary school so I would say like when I'm like 9 to maybe 11 uh, I was like forced, not yeah, forced, we were forced to write in cursive 
like joined up handwriting because that's what we were got told how to write for high school and literally it did not matter you could write whatever you, way you wanted in high school and I think that's messed up how I write a few things because I always I like writing without it being joined up but I think joined up is sometimes nice but the way I write just now it's just always um, a mixture of both so if I'm to write see how to write let's see festival if you see the way I cross um, the T's I go straight into the I so it's not as if I write this I do this oops I just did it there so like I connect my T with my I and then you can kind of see there the V and the A are joined up and my A's look like they use. <laughs> I blame my teachers for that. I don't know why they like forced it onto us because it really doesn't matter. And my dad used to write... I forgot what version I was written. <laughs> um, in block caps all the time. And when I do that, I feel like I spell words weird. It just looks different, but it's hard for me to write in um, block caps for some reason. But I think it looks nice. I just feel like it looks strange and I need to double check my spelling all the time. Oh, okay, we only need her finale. No, we need her scrapbook version. Okay, that's good. Revy Festival Finale Scrapbook Version I don't know why they changed the name of the guidebook version to scrapbook It's a bit strange Okay so Revy Festival I'm gonna write Finale up here since I have the space and then SB version Ravy Festival Oh, I forgot finale up here. Oh my god. I'm right. I'll write it up here. Scrapbook version Finale SB version. This is like peak laziness, me not writing scrapbook. <laughs> Just because of the amount of times I need to write this out. Finale. Wait, how many is that? Oops. Okay, this is the finale version. Oh no. Let's score this out here. I'm gonna put this here. And then. Ravy Festival Finale version And I always write small as well even if I'm like This is me writing just for these but if I were to write on like lined paper my writing's always small I think it's just something I will, I've always done so I'm I can never change that and every time like I write I get pure insecure that I don't write enough just because it doesn't look like it on the paper, but I don't know. It doesn't matter now, but like I've always had the fear. <laughs> I, w I just wish I had pretty handwriting. Okay, so we have two of her scra scrapbook versions, so I'm just going to write scrapbook version here. And then the rest are the finale versions. I'm actually quite liking the way I'm doing the essays. I think it's so cute, especially with Sugi's name. Finale version E. Wait, have I been doing that? I didn't do it for Wendy. But yeah, you can see here <laughs> another example the V, E, and R are joined up, and yeah. I just feel like my handwriting's clapped, and like sometimes, like, if I, like this is the way I usually write but if I spend time making my handwriting look nice which is just a waste of time it looks decent but who has the time to write neatly 
Nine version B. We're nearly done. Oh my god. Maybe festival. Finale. Scrapbook version. Revy Festival Finale Scrapbook version and then the other two are her finale versions because this is her scrapbook. Revy Festival version B. And yeah, I don't see the pen I use. This is literally just the Muji pen and I like the feel of this one. Muji have quite a few like um these aren't I don't know if these are these are an ink smooth gel ink ball pen. Um they do have a few different types of pens but I've become really fond of this one. I don't know why. These are the other two types. I don't know if they have any more but this one's more I quite like this because it's got like a clip on it and then this one I honestly don't know much of a difference but I like this one a bit better it's kind of like a combination of the two uh, I just like the feel of this a bit more okay we don't need this let's move the pens out of the way and I'm going to sort these out into order I think how I'm going to lay this out is have a scrapbook version on the first page and then the finale version E and the other page after that and then another scrapbook version. So it's like a little pattern. I like my patterns. <laughs> and then I've only done two for this, oops. So this one will have these three cards on it. It depends on what way I want to do it, but it doesn't matter until I get more of the cards in. That was not straight at all. I need to get used to like the camera being positioned in a certain way. I'm going to take these out. I don't know if I'll be using the stickers just now. I don't know if I want to put the envelopes in the binder, but I don't need to just now since I don't have the sleeves. And I'm only going to put it behind what I already have. And I also don't know if I'm going to keep the sticker or put like the sticker in the binder. And let's actually get my binder out. I have my sleeves here. I will sleeve those cards when I get my binder back up. Okay, so what I have to do actually is put this Irene one back in. Which I can't remember if I have this one coming in. I don't think I do. I do have Irene's rookie card coming in finally. Someone asked if I could join a group order for it and it was the only card they were needing which was quite surprising because Irene rookie cards are quite hard to find and to think that no one was claiming it. I think it was just in favour of me, like it was calling my name basically. But I'm glad that I secured a spot in it and hopefully I do actually get that soon. The person who ordered it, that who did the group order is from the UK so hoping that I get that soon and then I have rookie complete. Okay, so what I need to do is put this onto the back of the standee. This is only temporary, I hope I get, well, I need to get on buying myself sleeves, individual sleeves for my other groups and also the two pocket sleeves. So this is Joy, it's a complete set and these are vertical. And yes. Which I think her postcard for the day two is actually horizontal. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's what it's going to be looking like just now. So we did the scrapbook versions. So this is going to be scrapbook version one basically or version A, whatever you want to call it. I hate doing the top row. Sophie. I 
case I made these a bit too big but they fit just great it's just quite a tight fit versions and this is the one with Joy's set complete. Oh my gosh, that's such a tight fit. Wait, Sogi's not going there. Okay, wait, you barely saw that. Sorry about the angles and stuff. <laughs> um, let's see. I forget to look in my viewfinder. I'm going to do this one for version A. Oh, I can't wait to see what these all look like. And this is going to be where one of Sogi's cards are. And I think it's going to be this one here. It's so good having to sleeve these. I've missed sleeving my cards. <laughs> Oh, this one's a tape fit. You can't even see that when I have my arm there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, now this one, how cute, oh my god. Might as well not go now. Okay, now this one, and this has a, mm, the majority of the cards. My other three. How cute. Oh my god. I still can't believe I was not like able to pull my favourite Ivy. Okay, so once I'm finished doing this, I think I'm gonna add my white sleeves in. Kind of what I've done from the first few pages of this binder something I need to get into the habit of doing and then hopefully one day I can make my placeholders for the, the card slots that aren't taken up by members. So I have a bunch of my white sleeve. Okay so I've come to interrupt you guys. I forgot to put this Joy Kino card into the binder. I forgot I had her. Well I didn't forget. She just wasn't in the pile with all the cards I was putting in. And I do have Wendy's coming in, so I'm going to write on the way for her. And then we only need two cards. I think it's going to be hard for me to find Irene's for a decent price. But I don't mind not having it just now because I didn't think I'd actually have three out of five already. I can't get over this Sogi card, it's too precious. Oh my god. I think maybe one day when I have most of these cards, I can maybe focus on the uh, Perfect Velvet Kinos, but I really don't think I'll be able to find it 
them for decent prices. I came to interrupt. I actually put this card in after I did all this stuff, but yeah, we'll get to see that anyway. But yeah, sorry. Let's get back into the video now. It's a temporary thing. It's going to be replaced with actual placeholders that I design, hopefully. I just don't know when. I've been holding this off for ages and it's just getting to the point where it's like, come on, why are you not doing this? Right, I have a stack here. Compared to the old Ultra Pro ones, which are the ones that have the hollow on it, there's a lot more and I don't think this will be able to accommodate all the pages I have. And the other ones I have used the old, um, you can't see it, the old, um, no, the new, sorry, the new white logo thing. Um, the, the new, like, transparent logo that's not as visible, but you can still see it. So I'm just going to put these in the same way I put my cards in, which is facing backwards, the logo, and it's facing upwards, so the open bits at the bottom. Okay, so I've done the velvet. And I think what I'm going to do is get an A4 piece of paper and just put that behind this. Okay, so I got the A4 piece of paper. This is literally just like regular printer paper. I'm just going to stick this behind. There we go. Okay, I've been wanting to do it for a while. I'm going to straighten it up to this bit here. Yay, okay. This is currently my favourite jumper. I recently just got it. And I love the pattern so much. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to write, see that this is in the mail. G O. Just get the username up. Okay, yay. I'll be so happy when that card does come in. I'm getting a bit better of putting the top. So much easier putting it in with um, these two rows, the cards, without using two hands. And I'm doing this with my left hand, which is quite impress impressive anyway. But oh my god, I miss I miss its era. Oh my god. Also, how iconic were Irene's baby hairs? Well, not uh, the fringe. Like, you know how in the music video with those baby hairs? Oh my god. Yeah, I can see these going down quite quickly. I don't think that little pile would have been enough. <laughs> I also do have Irene's little standy coming in from Summer Magic, so... I have a little stack of um, the extras I have when I make my placeholders. I will show you in a second when we get to that. But yes, I um, have a trade for the Joy Standy, which is something I've been wanting to find for ages. And I'm glad I was able to find one. This Joy photo card, oh my god, one of her best. She looks so good. I kind of want Joy to dye her hair again, just because of the lack of hair colour she's been getting recently. <laughs> I love her dark hair so much, I really don't like idols that have brown hair for some reason. I don't know why I have such a dislike towards brown hair. 
um, but I want you to branch out a bit. And Wendy, I think one of my favourite Wendy hair colours was when she had the blue hair for Rookie. That was one of my favourites from her. Okay, some of these are upside down, some of them are not. Technically the right way up, but upside down for what I'm doing here. We're not even done yet, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'll need, I'll need to get one of those little on the way things. I really don't think I'll have enough of these, which is not good, because <laughs> we're barely done. I'm just going to leave these ones as they are, just because it's not much of a priority since it's not really going onto the standy thing. Okay, I'm going to go get the... So I've literally just put this into the little lid of a candle um, that I've used up. I've just like made... Out of the long strips I have left over when I make placeholders, I just cut them up and put them into like little square rectangle things. And I've just made some that has on the way if I haven't made an actual placeholder for it. And this is an example for why I do that. Just it saves me from making a placeholder and I, I don't have to make one. I at least know what's coming in the mail. Okay, yeah, I don't think we'll have enough, especially with the addition of the finale cards, but we'll see how this goes. And probably continue on the next video if I do another one of these. I would say we have enough maybe to finish day one. I think that for the next video, if I do one of these kind of things, I will basically sleeve all the photo cards I don't have sleeved because I will be getting, hopefully I will be buying my other individual sleeves for my other groups, which is the new Ultra Pro ones. Because for my red velvet ones, I have a bunch of those sleeves left and I don't want to make them go to waste. So I'm keeping them and just using them for red velvet. But we'll see how that goes. If you guys would like that, just because it's less of me like adding anything to it, it's just me kind of rearranging my cards, I guess, with the sleeves. Not really adding anything new into it. Okay, this is the last set it's gonna fill up, but I'm surprised that we had enough have like an even amount for each page instead of it like finishing on this isn't gonna go in is it i need to concentrate for this nope. <laughs> instead of it like me not having one card at least i have one card to fit in this properly and i will need a bunch more for the rest of the cards which is a lot <laughs> The Red Velvet collection has grown the amount of releases they've had and the amount of card sets. Gosh, so many. I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to do. I will probably continue this once I do get more sleeves in, especially the white ones. And then I guess when I get my normal like transparent sleeves, I can sleeve up all the full cards I don't have sleeved up in my binders. I've just realised, why, why is this Irene card in the wrong sleeve? Okay, good thing we did do this because I wouldn't have noticed that. But yes, I will probably continue this 
with these sets that I've not put white sleeves in. But yes, we've been productive. And I guess I made a video out of it. <laughs> so I have, this is what my finale collection is looking like just now. So, so tragic. But I mean, it's just the start. And I'm excited for starting to trade. I mean, I only have like two things to trade, but I don't know if I will get any other versions, any other more versions. If you like these kind of videos and want to see me do more, please let me know because I will be down to doing them. It kind of helps me be a bit more productive with my collection and make it look a bit more nicer. Uh, thank you for watching this, I guess. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is, whatever it's going to be. Bye!